Americans turn on scandalous Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, not going to work out. After Prince Harry formally moved to the United States, people's opinions of the Sussexes are shifting. Following their announcement in 2020 that they were leaving their royal duties, the couple fled to California. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Although the prince emphasized that the UK will always be home, it appears from recent documents that he now views the US as his permanent home. I don't think it will work out as they think it will, Don Johnson, manager of a bagel business in New York, said in a Daily Express US interview. They already face a great deal of controversy because of their actions, they want privacy but also want to travel the world and sign books without interference. Approval ratings support the US's historical greater sympathy for the glamorous pair than the UK's. However, as the pair continues to market their goods based on their royal notoriety, that might be about to change. Beauty entrepreneur Ramia Catton told Daily Express US, I feel like the empire is falling, so why not detach yourself before it crashes? According to the majority of Americans who talked with Daily Express US, Harry should be held accountable if it turns out that he lied on his visa application about using drugs, something he discussed candidly in his best-selling memoir Spare. I don't believe he ought to be exempt from the law. If he did it, I believe he ought to be held responsible said Johnson. Some drew attention to the lengthy U.S. immigration procedure, which the Sussexes appear to handle more easily than many others. Product marketing Anna Masera said, it's unfair he gets to do it so quick, adding that she does not have a great opinion of the couple. The waiting period to become a resident in the U.S., to become part of the U.S., is very long, Masera said. Even travelers who were observed on Thursday morning in New York thought that Harry had an unfair advantage. That is incorrect. He was dishonest. He was able to obtain U.S. citizenship. It's unfortunate if he lied, commented Linda, a French visitor. While on vacation from England, Ruth was equally direct, if you're not telling the truth, it would be the same for any of us. Why would he be any different from anyone else when it's so hard to become a resident in America? The ITV anchor responded to the news that Prince Harry had listed the United States as his primary residence on Thursday's episode of Lorraine. Four years ago, the Duke of Sussex moved to California to live with his wife Meghan Markle after leaving the United Kingdom. According to Lorraine, Prince Harry made headlines this morning when he formally registered as a resident of the United States. Yes, that is his residence. The ITV personality clarified to royal editor Russell Myers that, despite what some have been claiming, he still resides in America. That's where his wife lives, and I believe the youngest baby was born there, Lorraine continued. Russell shared his opinions, saying that the Sussexes have had an intriguing few days. He declared, there was never a dull moment. During the week, Meghan unveiled her jam line, and after that, Harry went back to work, taking a Zoom call for Travelist, the sustainable travel business he founded in 2019. However, we discovered overnight that he had altered his business house profile's information to reflect his new US residency rather than his previous UK one. The royal editor then noted the change's date and continued to explain to Lorraine why it is so important. He went on, he was essentially asked to vacate his Frogmore Cottage residence along with Meghan and the family on June 29, 2023, the date he claims he took up residency in the US. Is this the strongest hint yet that Harry will not be returning to the UK in any capacity? Very intriguing circumstance. Lorraine nodded and asked if the Duke of Sussex could hold two citizenships as opposed to simply one. Would the kids have that, she wondered. I'm not exactly sure how it operates. Russell answered, well, 
he might well do because he was discussing about how he's considered taking citizenship on an American chat show recently. He claims to be content in the United States, so why not? We have gorgeous weather in California, hopefully growing enterprises for Meghan, and Harry is working with Netflix and his travel agency.